I want to show you my wild patch of garden. Only wild in that it's a lot of wild flowers, but it's also a lot of domestic flowers. So you can see there's St. John's wort, vetches, but then if you look down here, there's a lily. Here's a daisy. There's another lily right there. There's sweet scented rocket. And there's some geums, some irises, some lupin and uh, columbine and lupin. But it's a wonderful, and there's um, euphorbia and there's more geums and there's more irises. There's an evening primrose that I will flower. Those are camassius. But it's wonderfully full of bumblebees. And this is an old fashioned uh, gladioli, which all the hybrids have come from is that. And here you have yellow clover. All kinds of stuff. Oh, you have um, Cubs, what are they called? Lions and cubs or something? Or fox and cubs. Fox and cubs. They're coming out. Loads of forget-me-nots. But it's a kind of chaotic garden. Because nature is chaos. So I've planted all kinds of things to get pops of color. You can see pops of colors and daisies and bulbs and biannuals and perennials and perennials that will self-seed and self-sow and um, annuals that do the same. So it's looking really good. I'm really pleased with how it's turning out. It's years of slowly slotting things in and it's beginning to look good and I've put um, ugh, stupid brain. It's not artichoke. It's the other one. It begins with C, I think. Uh, I'm being stupid. I can't remember. But there's lots of stuff in here that will um, flower um, perennially, annually, and biannually. And it's to feed the pollinators. It's looking really good. The patio's over there. but it's alive with buzzing bees. Isn't that right, cat? Bath time. Look at all these uh, primroses, evening primroses. These are all self-sown. I've collected them from other locations and just chucked them out. A lot of seeds in here are just chucked out seeds. The primroses, the oxide daisies, all. You're ruining my primroses, bear. Anyway, you can see there's a bumblebee on a daisy. Oh, and there's a butterfly fluttering about. Where'd it go? There it is. You can see a white one going somewhere. So the daisies are all going to be amazing in the next few few weeks. The place will be polluted with daisies, which are pollinators favorite. I mean, you can see this uh, bee, I think it's snoozing. It hasn't gotten up yet. So it's sleeping on its breakfast. This is our cooking pair that when they did the genetic analysis, uh, we discovered that it was probably planted in the 1730s, around the time when the house was built. Anyway, 25 years ago or so, I think, could be more, could be less, I planted a yellow climbing rose. This is before I knew about Mount, Mount Congreve. And the climbing rose, 
now is that high and even higher. It's blooming all the way up at the top, full on this pear tree. And I love the yellow. Problem is, it doesn't come out very well against the green and the sky. So I am going to, it's, I, there's another one over here that you can see a bit better because it's lower down. But there was a climbing rose over here. It's in this tree. You can kind of see it's up there. Let me see if I go in here. Through my jungle. See, I'm not a very good gardener. I have sections which are very wild and woolly. By the end of the, by the middle of the summer, this will be all strimmed back. And see, there is the beech arch right there. But this rose is here, planted here, and it climbs up and over these two trees. It's full, filled with this climbing rose that the pollinators love. So I'm thinking both this tree and the pear tree are green. I have got another of these yellow climbing roses and I'm going to go plant it next to a copper beech. But the thing also is gardening, you never really have new ideas. You might think they are, but they're not. It's like planting that first rose next to the pear tree. I hadn't realized that Mount Congreve had already done it. I hadn't seen any gardening had already done it. I thought it was a new thing. Little did I know, loads of people have been doing it for years and years and years. The boys are in here. They're muttering at me. Hey, boys. Yeah. They were in under the shed and they left because they heard me. They thought I was going to do abuse them in some way. Now, checking to see how the ferns are doing that I planted a while ago. This is unfurling. Hopefully they're gonna like this deep shade. I planted that a number of years ago. The uh, wall ferns all did themselves. But you see this rose. Oh, it's not a rose. Ha! This is an ash tree. I'll leave it, see what happens. Anyway, I'm hoping the deep shade in here is not gonna negatively affect this. I bought that the other day. And it's supposed to be a really giant fern. So we'll see what happens. And if it works, I'm going to plant more ferns in here because I can't plant beech trees right there because it's too deep in shade. They won't do anything. So I was thinking making that a ferny bank. So that's the plan. But I'm going to wait and see if that works. That one worked, but I've got to see that that one works. I've just plowed my way through this jungle of cleavers, Solomon seal, that's a lime tree there, brambles, cow parsley, you can see all the cow parsley everywhere, because I wanted to check on my lilies, my woodland lilies, that were probably planted by my par grandparents or my great grandparents, and look, there's two. Here's one, they're not blooming yet. There's one down there. There's uh, another one over there. So, yeah, they're not flowering yet. There's more, there's another one. There's a whitey one there. Let's see, there were some over here somewhere as well. Hopefully I haven't stood on any as I, oh look, there's one right there. I'll have to come back next week sometime and see them. You can see the wood is very full of ground cover and interesting ground cover at that.
Is this what you want? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Oh, that's what you want. That's what you want. Oh, that's what you want. Yes. Yes. If you cry, you're there, you're sweet. Yes. Is that what a puppy wants? Is that what a puppy wants? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, oh, you just love that. Yes. Oh, you just love being cried off. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Is that what a puppy wants? Is that what a puppy wants? Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I knew you wanted to, but you dry off very quick. You dry off much quicker. Yes. Hello, you. Oh, dear. 
Oh. <laughs> no, I don't need drying off. Thank you, Jingle. No, no, please. I don't need drying off. Yes. Oh, you want to get dried off. Oh, you want to get dried off. Oh. Is that what you want? Do you want more drying off? Do you want more drying off? Oh. Brindles, no, don't dry me off. Is that good? Is that good? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you want more drying off? You want more drying off? No, Brindle, don't like me. <laughs> you sound like a little primate. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Is that good? You want more. You want more. You want more. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Yes, you're so sweet, too. You're very wet. You're very wet. You've got a wet head. You're very wet. Very wet. Okay, job done. You want more? 